What's going on guys? Welcome back to another success interview with Rochelle. And Rochelle started with Cake Apple University. I think she joined Jan 5th, according to her, just after the New Year's. And so far, the day of in this recording, this is 5th of March. And she have made about 60 fucking grand, right? A lot of money last two months. Now, remarkable human being, have her own business. And uh, she is at her work right now. So, you know, the business minded people always do well in trading the reason is they understand the amount of risk they're putting into the into the certain thing and even if they get a little bit of returns they're happy but with people who have day jobs nothing against them but people who have day jobs they're trading because they want to make a lot of money or they want to you know freedom this social media pushes this freedom agenda and, and they oftentimes keep people into these trenches of you know in the system for a long extended period of time so we'll hear from her the story and uh, i'm so like i have so many questions i want to jump ahead but we'll go step by step welcome rochelle welcome Hello. to success interview part two of kick out university now i just want to know one thing where are you from where are you from I'm right from now oh yeah i live in miami but i born and raised in new york miami all right okay so the first question that i have is how did you get started in trading like where did you even find out about trading so my client she would always talk to me about day trading and she owns a school and i was like how do you have time to day trade it doesn't make sense in my brain because i own a business so i'm like i don't understand how you do this and she was coming to me for months and months and she started like she would just show me and and i'm like i gotta i gotta learn this this is just it was blowing my mind how much how much money she was making and how she was doing it and but she's been doing it a long time so it you know obviously the longer you do it the, the easier it like you know comes to you like you and you do it you know it's pretty much easy for you right at this point in time so she put together like a little class um for a lot of the, her friends that were asking about it and i have to say like it was it was definitely the best thing that i could have done was it was i kind of equated to like if you go to you know, you're like in middle school and now I'm kind of like in college. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it right. introduced me, it introduced me to it and really got me very interested. I did not know how much I was going to like it or how obsessed I was going to be. Cause when I tell you, like, I obviously I own my own business. So everything I do is the same way I apply it to my business. Like I literally wake up at five in the morning every day. I go to the gym every day. And then from after I'm done working out, I do your course and I rewatch it over and over and over again. And then I sit with you and live trade until I don't even take a client until 1130 so I can live trade with you every day. And then I work the rest of the day. There you go. That's how I got started in it. I, I mean, she was kind of the one who introduced me to it. So I like love that. I, I mean, I, I love that she, she did that for me because I don't think I would have ever even thought about doing this if she didn't mention it. And then actually, I think she was following you on Instagram. And then I saw your Instagram and I have to tell you. I don't believe anybody on Instagram. I think everyone on Instagram is full of shit. <laughs> but I, I saw your Instagram and I was like, I don't know. I, I feel like this guy knows what he's talking about. Like, I really just kind of like like him. And I was like, what the fuck do I have to lose? I already lost $30,000. So what's the difference at this point in time? Right. Like, what could happen? <laughs> what's the worst that can happen, you know? Yeah, that's actually the best way of thinking. Like, this is how we think in trades as well. What's the worst that can happen? It's a stop loss. Right. It is what it is. Right, exactly. I love it. Now, when you say one of your clients introduced, so what year is this? 2023. Okay, so, so I started. Went... I started in the, the the very last week of October. Okay, that's not long ago. That's like no. like still okay. Okay, super okay. super new. I'm like a little okay. baby. <laughs> no, okay, okay, I get it now. Now it makes sense. Okay, yes. so basically, what happened here was you didn't have time to get into the bad habits that you would have developed or done some stupid courses. The people who talk about, oh, I've made millions and millions, but their courses right. are full of shit. So you didn't learn anything bad, bad. and there was nothing to unlearn pretty much. So you, right. the moment you learn the systems, you're like, shit, this makes sense. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Got applied straight away. Okay, I love it. Yeah. But what were your expectations when you first started? Like, as you said, you lost about 30,000 before you joined us. Was it because of the expectations that you had that you're going to make so much money and millions and millions of dollars? But what were your expectations when you first started though? With with her or with you? With her. Like, In general. Oh, just general. Um, yeah. Actually... To tell you the truth, what I really, what I really, my main goal, this is funny, my goal was very small. So because I own my own business and we are in a recession, right? So what I do is a luxury, right? So for this, for people, this is not something that they, it's not like, oh, I have to put gas in my car. This is a luxury for people. So when the recession hit, it, it hit all of our businesses a lot. And so I think I probably went down maybe 20, 25% in revenue. And I was like, okay, 
you know what, if I could just make an extra, let's say my rent is like $5,300 a month. If I can make the extra $5,300 a month, get through the rest of the year until election is over, I'll be good. That was my, literally my goal was just to cover my rent at my spa. That was it. Just like, it was so small. I was like, oh, this, like just extra money, whatever. You know what I mean? I wasn't really thinking like big money, but I have a very obsessive personality when it comes to something I really like to do. So when I saw it, like it was working, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> now, literally, I this is one thing I always tell everybody, all of my friends and everybody. I personally believe if there's so much money in the stock market and it's pretty much after you figure out what works, what doesn't work, what time mm -hmm. of the day you trade well, what stocks you trade well, what options you trade well. If you have to trade SPY and you watch SPX and SPY together, kind of gives you a better edge. All these little tips and tricks after you know all this, making money over a long period of time, not like day by day, but making money monthly or you know how much money you make monthly and stuff like that. It becomes pretty much like, you know, you can expect yourself to make say 50 grand a month. Right. And it has has done so many good things for me because you know cash flow is king so i i'm happy to jump in other financial commitments like real estate or other stuff because i know for a fact okay right now i have 150k in my bank but in the next three months, I'm going to get another 150 from the market anyway. So, okay, I can commit to something 300K, get the paperwork and stuff ready, and within three months, I can pay for that. So right. this peace of mind that I get just because I know there's like free money for me to grab, as long as I'm disciplined, I'm you know, I can do it. And this is what actually is the best thing about like literally day trading. It's very, very hard at, you know, initially beginning, very hard. But yeah. From your story, it just like, okay, if you start nicely, you do not have to blow a trading account. As you said, you never blew your trading account as well before the, uh -huh. before the call. You never have to blow, you know, just people say, oh, you have to blow trading accounts to learn how to make money. You do not have to blow trading accounts. That's, you know, that's just an excuse people give. And I absolutely love it. Now, tell me one thing. Okay, so mm -hmm. you said before you joined K Capital University, before you joined KC, you lost about thirty grand. After that, you know, you fucking winning. What changed though? What changed? What were you from? What were you doing before? Was it mind like a mindset uh, perspective, the system perspective? Yeah, I would say a few things. One, I so since it was so new to me, I didn't know how it would affect me even emotionally at all. Because I mean. Like at the end of the day, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 22. So I've lost money. I've made money. Like, I don't worry about that. But this is like a different emotion that I've never had before. So for example, like when I start, when I would, and sometimes I still do some swings, um, trades. Like I, sometimes I, I do like, I'll, you know, like I'll do two weeks out or something like that. Like I'll still do when I feel like it's right, whatever. But before I was, I was only swing trading, right? So it would be like a month out, two months out, but I couldn't understand the market because I didn't understand anything. I didn't understand candles. I didn't understand like when the trend was coming, when the trend, like when it was going down, when it was going up. So I couldn't even catch a run or anything. I, cause I would panic. I would have a lot of, I would have a lot of an anxiety, like a lot of anxiety, ton of anxiety over it. And what I started to notice was my mindset would change when I was like, okay, I realize now about myself, right. That I don't like to hold on to stocks over the weekend trades. Right. I don't want to yeah. hold trades over the weekend. So on Friday, I don't give a shit if I lose $2,000. There's no way I'm sitting over the weekend and holding it until Monday because I know the whole weekend it'll make me upset. Yeah. Right. Or I would, I would do all these things, but I didn't, I didn't know. It was more my mindset than anything. I really just didn't know the, like, uh, the mechanics behind it at all. I really mm -hmm. didn't. I would just kind of wing it. I was like, oh, it's going up or it's going down or, you know, the, I, there was no rhyme or reason. I just had, like I said, I happened to get lucky and then unlucky. And I just don't right. want to be. I want to be, I want to make better moves. I mean, I have definitely, like I said, I've made this much money. I've lost some on some trades that like weren't so great. And now I'm able to just get out of them before I didn't, I wasn't able to get out of them. Yeah, that's, I'll hold that's, on to them. That's, yeah, that's very crucial. That's very it, crucial. I, I, it, I think it was one, it was a couple weeks ago. I knew I took a bad trade. Like I knew it was bad. I don't even know. I don't know why I took it. And I actually forced myself to lose this, the, the money so that I would feel it and stop doing that dumb shit. I was you like, you right? knew was bad why'd you take the train and i yeah. did it anyway like it because i just was maybe i was bored or you just feel like oh i want to take another train you know <laughs> and now i <laughs> and then i, I but i for but it but i do things like that so i can like i'm tr like train myself and train my brain and train because it's it is like like you know i think about things that you say you're like it's a business at the end of the day it's still a business mm -hmm. you know you gotta treat it like it's not free money it's not monopoly money it's really there all right 
and I pull, I pull my money out now. Like you, like you, like pull your money out, take your money out, don't leave money in there. I'm taking my money out, I'm not leaving my money in there. That's best. Oh, we'll get mm-hmm. to it. We'll get to it in a minute. I have another co- few questions on that yeah. topic as well. Go ahead. Um, okay, so I love it. So what basically the big time thing changed was, as you said, you know, that's very, very important. Before you didn't have a system, now you have a system. Yeah. Before you wouldn't jump out because you didn't have a system, you wouldn't respect your stop loss because the stop mm-hmm. loss is just made up. Now it's based off a system and you can actually jump out. And that's very, very crucial. The reason why um, I personally think a lot of people day, uh, quit day trading just before they even figure out a system. And yeah. they're like, oh, I've been day trading three years, but you haven't been day trading seriously for three years. You haven't even started, mate. So I love it. Okay. Now, do you think this whole mindset and everything, you you owning a business helped, right? Because it's just like, you know, you have the mindset, you've been doing this from last few years, being a business. Now, one thing that I have for you is, do you think that somewhere or you... Um, I don't know. Somewhere in your head, you know for a fact there's a couple of reasons you had an edge over all the other day traders who are trying to day trade. One, you had a business because you, now you know the skills, ins and outs of business and you've been doing it for a while. Second, you're disciplined, waking up every day at the same time, going to the gym before the market open. And a lot of people, normal people, they're not disciplined. They say they are, but you know, when nobody's looking, that piece of cake is tempting you see what i'm saying so do you think that you had an edge just because of that as well it it definitely helps it definitely helps um you know consistency and discipline is 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 difficult for most people i have to say like the way i i could say like the way i grind and i work uh, you i mean you know not many people do are like that so if you if you give me the tools like you gave me the tools it can, I can do anything with it just because yeah. I, I know how to like control myself. And I, and I, and I'm very competitive and I love to win. And I, I, mm. I'm competitive myself and I love to win. So like the fact that I'm like winning and, and it's, it's like, it's working and it's like everything, I think everything just clicked. I swear it was just like one day I was like, oh my God, this shit makes sense. And I'm, and I'm confident. I have the, I have the confidence. My confidence was really shaken for a while. That's why I said to you, I didn't take a trade for three weeks. My daughter would sit there and I should be sitting there watching. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just watching. I don't know. I don't even know what's happening. Okay, so that means when you first started with us, you didn't take any trade for three weeks. Yeah. Um, okay, interesting. So basically, the 60 grand that you made came from last five weeks. Yeah. That's 12 grand a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and last couple of days have been, today you made eight grand. Yesterday was eight seven. Eight grand, grand. yesterday, seven. Yeah. Okay, so 15,000 last two days. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Now, I love it. I love it because, as you said, you know, consistency is very, very difficult for people. I sleep only four hours a day, four, five hours a day. People go, oh, you got to sleep more. Da, da, da. It works for me, right? Everybody's yeah. different. It works for me every day. I do not always sleep. If I always sleep, I'm like, I've tried sleeping Tired. eight hours. Oh, I slept You're eight hours me. because, you know, that was a new year resolution. Oh, my God. I actually had a fever a couple of days in a row because i overslept and my back oh, my body was i was back to four hours oh my god best thing i ever did was you yeah. know throwing my gold out of the window if something and this is another important point people think it's like oh but that rich dude is doing this i gotta start doing that and they are not able to let go of stuff like if mm-hmm. something's not helping bro you gotta let go of it and that goes in trading as well so if somebody would do a you know a little stupid course i always call them so if somebody's doing a course and that course clearly is not making you money clearly it's not the best thing that you you know that you've done but people keep trying over and over again just because i don't want to quit i do not quit but as a business owner and you're day trading you're a business owner as a business owner you have to let go of things you quit thousand times if something's not working you quit and that doesn't make you a loser no (laughs) actually makes you a winner (laughs) yeah people just don't know how to quit people don't know how to lose and that's yeah. why they always say in day trading the best loser wins so if you knew if you know how to lose yeah yeah you know if you know how to lose that's it bang bang yeah i think the other thing was really really cool for me too to learn was was the risk management i think that was like for me like i said like oh, okay i made eight grand today i'm okay if i lost i'm okay if i was down two i'm still up six right when i, I, I so i'm just like it, it's it's okay like i'm okay with it now and i'm and, and I, i'm okay with it and i can move on with confidence instead of before instead of being like oh man i lose lost you no i didn't lose two thousand i made six i'm all yeah, right 100%. Yeah, but I, I that was another thing that was really helpful for yes. you know i think 
think um I think it has a lot to do with now I'm not trying to bag um guys if you're watching this please I'm not trying to bag anybody who actually goes to um goes to a nine to five job before this I I worked you know in jobs as well um but there's one thing that I'll tell you when you have your own business you really really start or when you you know work it for yourself you really start believing in delayed gratification so okay. what happens is you're putting in all the work now you don't know if they're gonna work you know six months from now or not but you work on this thing and you get rewarded for this particular thing that you're working on today three months from today and this skill is very hard to like people who go to nine to five jobs they do the work today they get rewarded today yes if they don't do the work today they do not get rewarded today so it's the mindset that you have to shift that okay over a long period of time even if i lose two thousand it's okay over a long period of time i'm still gonna be green that's one of the very it's it's very hard to uh, master but if you can trading becomes just like yeah another thing i have to do yeah um i, I love it all right now i have a question for you do you trade right at the market open so let's no. say so how like how does you I used to, you oh, that's the thing I used to do I used to do that too which was terrible oh my god worst thing ever um no I wait I wait I wait a while sometimes I'm like 30 minutes in before I trade I it, it depends like if I see it setting up like I think it was last week meta had like remember I, remember I was writing in the chat I was like oh my god this meta run and I and it like I saw it and I was like yeah I'm fucking jumping in now I know it's gonna and it just it like went like I don't even know how much like yeah. 20 points or whatever um if and also like if I I know this probably sounds crazy maybe you feel but if I feel it like you could feel it like I don't know it's a feeling inside yeah. your body like you just know mm -hmm. it's gonna go and I'm just like and then I'll, and then I'll go in a little bit earlier but if I'm and if I'm really hesitant I, I I don't even I don't even bother. I'm like, ah, oh, yes. I can't deal with this today because I'll be I'll be uneasy the entire trade, like mm -hmm. the whole day, and I might yeah. hold on to it all day until I see it like maybe turn around or maybe break even. That's another thing I started to stop doing. Like if I just like don't see a nice trend at all, like I can't trade chop. No, oh, no, there's no point. I, I can't even deal with it. I mean, it gives like I see people. I, I know a lot of people that do it, and they're like, "Oh, I made five hundred here, a thousand here," and I'm like, "Why do you want that anxiety? Like that gives me so much anxiety." I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to make. I made my the eight thousand I made today was literally no lie. The last fifteen minutes of the market today, because I saw um, SMCI and I was like, "Yo, this shit's about to go," because you know that one's like a runner. Yeah. And I saw the candles, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get one." And it was ten minutes. And I was like, okay, bye, I'm done. And I usually don't trade at the end of the day. I just happen to be like watching it because I had time. Right. So I, I usually trade in the morning. I like to trade in the morning because then I can get my day over with and not have to deal with it anymore. Yes. I love it. I love it. All right. So you're not trading right of the market open. Oh, the worst mistake I ever made. Yes. <laughs> Because you know, Terrible. you gotta wait for it's yeah, you gotta wait for the trend to set up. You gotta wait, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally makes sense. And another thing that you mentioned was uh, gut feeling. For me personally, like for you, that works. For me personally, when I have a gut feeling before the trade, which is very like very very rare, I have a, I'll have a gut feeling about a trade. All right, if I'm looking at a chart, I'll be like, I want to jump in. Um, I don't, I don't know. I will, I'll very rarely have it, but I'll follow it. Whenever I have it, I'll follow it. I have yeah. gut feelings about the day. This is bad for me. My personally, yeah. so it usually happens when I wake up in the morning. I wake up, wash my face. I'm in the bathroom, brushing my teeth. I'm like, man, I really don't want to trade. I really don't want to trade. I don't feel like trading. That. Just, you know, that little thing when I'm looking at myself yeah. in the mirror is usually is like one of those things. And I have tracked this from, I've tracked this over the last 30 or 40 times when I have experienced this out of, I think last 30 times, about 24 or 23 times I was red right I was red on the day and I was red big time if I would have ignored those it would have saved me confidence for the next days so now what I do is um I still trade but I'll do small literally one contract just tr there to trade and not there to actually make money or stuff and that has been very helpful so that that, that actually makes sense um now so you do not take quick scalps, do you? Like quick, you know, a minute, two minutes. I can't. You hold. I can't. <laughs> you hold. I love it. I'll, okay. But I, but I really think you're right when you said like I don't. I didn't really develop too many bad habits. So it was kind of like I'm literally just listening to it. I'm like, well, 
I'm like, he's obviously making money. So, and he knows what he's doing. So it's like, I can't, it can't be wrong, you know? So, but I don't, I don't have, I don't have too many bad habits. I, I mean, I have a couple, you know, just because I'm a human and I like, you have like, like sometimes you just do dumb shit, but mm-hmm. I have a lot of self-control too. Yes. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. <laughs> so, you know, made for quick scops. So you hold as big <laughs> runners. Um, yeah. What has, what has, because I know you have some crazy, crazy freaking runners. What has been yeah. the biggest profit um, percentage wise and the dollar wise last five weeks? Yeah, I think it was the day I had met. I think that day I had met up. I had another. I had another call that day. I have to look at my notes. I don't have it with me. I think it has to be but, Nvidia because I have seen. I think you it was Nvidia because I. Yeah. I love Nvidia as my baby. I love Nvidia <laughs> so much. I don't care how expensive it is. It makes me so much money. <laughs> I think I was up like a hundred and fifty or a hundred and eighty percent. Okay. So I think it was like a, I think it was more like that was one of my biggest days. It was like twenty seven thousand dollars. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. So now the- all the and really actually all this money has happened within like the last two weeks. Most of it's the last two weeks. Ooh, and I was yeah. like, oh, I made twenty seven thousand. Then I made eight thousand. Then I made seven thousand. I made eight thousand. I was like, holy shit! Like it just seems like I. It's just like oh, okay. And and in between all that, I've still lost a couple of hundred here or a thousand here. Right. So your biggest day has been twenty seven grand, and your mm-hmm. biggest red day. What about that? Um, three grand. Okay. Now I have a question. Now there's like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel like three grand's a lot, but I was like, it's still like three grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I have a question about. So when you were down, let's say twenty seven hundred from that three thousand, right? So now you're down twenty seven hundred. Um, on the day for that particular day, right? When you lost three grand, mm. did you feel like oh? You know, a lot of people start feeling like, oh my God, I'm down. I got to make the money back. Not How do you control that feeling? Uh, Because I was losing more money, like when I would like revenge trade. So it would just be like, it would just go down, 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 down. I was like, this is so stupid. I'm like, it just didn't make any sense. It just, it, it just makes no sense. Yeah. I, I, it's not even a control thing. Honestly, it just, it just logically makes zero sense. I'm like, why, what, why would I continue to do something like this? I'm losing more money because I feel like I lost money like i just like i'm like forget it i'm out of here it didn't take okay. long for me to stop doing something like that it was i just found it to be stupid and i'm not yes. trying to insult anybody either because i know people like get into it and they can't help it but it's a hey, it's hey, just you know it's insulting being, nobody this game yeah, it's just, you know there's some gonna go some people gonna be winners disciplined people yeah. gonna be winners and if you're not disciplined i'm gonna take your money period yeah it's just being too it's being too emotional too emotional money and mm-hmm. i work listen I, i'm like you're much younger than me you're literally the as old as my son okay you're what 25 Five, right okay I'm my son's turning 20 now, yeah. my son is turning 24 this year okay? okay but when i was growing up you know we we worked really hard for our money you know we didn't mm-hmm. have social media we didn't even have cell phones we had you know pagers and things like that like we didn't have any of these things so when i was growing up it was such a different work ethic you know and i come from my you know my dad's an entrepreneur my family my grandfather was an entrepreneur and i I come from like everyone my family owns and runs their own business and stuff and we and just people work so hard and for me like i work so hard for my money and i do so much to like make my business work and shit like that like i don't like to lose money Like recklessly, you know, I'm also responsible for other people's lives. Besides my children, I have employees and I, and you know, I want to make sure that like for me to act that way, that means I'm being irresponsible with everybody else's life too. Mm -hmm. 100%. You know, 100%. So for me, like now, like, I mean, like having access to this shit on my computer and like, yes, this is the best thing. I'm telling you, best thing ever. I have, I have had or have plenty of the businesses, the brick and mortar businesses, right? Um, Where employees, physical businesses, okay? Terrible. And I'll tell you one thing. Every time I somehow come back to day trading, it's just like every time it's, it's money, good money plus you know, but I've realized for me personally, real estate's the key. All the money oh, yeah. that I make has to go in real. Like actual other physical businesses where they blow. Oh, there's mm-hmm. you know, there's so many things that go wrong. There's so many tangible things going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's politics going on. You know, people complain. Oh, nah. I'm like, bro, you, you do you, man. I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> nah, right. that totally makes sense, though. You know, um, because at the end of the day, what I've realized is I used to work eight hours a day or ten hours a day before um before I started doing my own stuff. 
stuff. Now I work literally 24 hours a day. I, you know, and this is a big difference. Uh, again, if you do not know, this is a big differentiator between people who actually go in nine to five and people who have businesses. So when you're going to nine to five every day, you start fresh. Okay. So it's like new day, you know, new start pretty much. Every day you start fresh. When you have your own business, day, you know, the night you go to bed, the stuff where you left at, next day, that stuff is looking at you. So if you left everything like shit, next day the shit's looking at you, staring at you. It's not like, oh, every day is fresh. No, it's the same shit over and over again. If you yeah. are a fuckhead and you fucked something a night before, next day it's staring at you and you have to mm -hmm. fix it. So it's not like, oh, new day. Some days are good, no. some days are bad. And that shit gets paid. Uh, but, you know, it pays, so it's good. Okay. Now, do you have a hard time staying cash? Like, um, when you're trading, do you have a, do you find hard to not be in a trade at all times? No. So you, you'll be sitting in trade. You'll be sitting just on cash, watching the markets for like yeah. half an hour, 40 minutes up until. No, I, it hold. makes me feel much better. No. Yeah. I, like I said before, like it, it was hard for me when I was holding on to the trade. It was harder for me. I was like, oh, like it would bother me so much. Like I, I realized I'm like, oh, wow. I actually am like a true day trader. I just want, even if I buy it and it's still a week out. Mm -hmm. I want to get rid of it. I don't want it. I don't care if it goes up. I don't care if I sell it and it goes up another 70%. I don't give a shit. I, I really don't care. I'm like, it's fine. It went up. It's going to go back down. I'll catch it again tomorrow or another day or another day. I mean, there's always another day to trade, right? So right. now I'm like, I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. You know, when people are like, oh, it went up another $10 or, oh, I could have made another five grand. Who gives a fuck? You could have lost another five grand. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, just, I'm like, I made my money and I'm like, I'm out. That's it. But, yes. and, and I think now I, now like the difference now is that you taught me how to let my runners run. Yes. And now I'm like, okay, like now I know how to let a runner, you know, some don't always run as much, but now I know how to let a runner run. And that, yes. that's a $27,000 a day that I literally caught that whole entire better run. The, from like the start, which never happens, but from the start to the tippy, tippy top, I got the whole damn run. And I was yeah. just like, fuck yeah. It's just it's not going. It's just not. It's just not. It's not going. To <laughs> like it had its little like things, but it was it was going, and I was and and that was something that was really great for me. More like very rewarding to know like now I can let a runner run, so I don't stress so much anymore. Like if I you know if I catch half of it, that's better than none of it. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. So okay, I love. I actually love it. So basically, basically now you have a system, yep. and you you know if the trade is winning, you stay in the trade. If the trade's yep. not winning. You're like, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm out. I love it. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Now, talk to me about how do you journal? How do you keep track of your trades? How do you journal? Like, what sort of questions do you ask yourself for every single trade? So, like, when I have really, we'll talk, well, when I have good trades, right? I usually am like, okay, like, I even ask myself, like, what kind of mindset were you in this morning? Like, I, how are you feeling? Like, for me, like, like you know, because you're right, some days you don't, you're tired, and you're just like, oh, fuck, whatever. You know, what, what what was I looking at? You know, what made me jump into that trade? What were what were my indicators? Like, why did I, why, how did I see that? You know, I write all those things down. And then when I jump out, I mean, I usually know when I'm going to jump out. When I'm at, like, you know, when I see myself around 20, 30%, I'm like, ah, okay, it's time. That's enough money. Like, that's plenty of money to make, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I don't don't need to be greedy when you're greedy is when you lose um always <laughs> yeah. and then when i have my bad trades i and I, I journal them i always know it's the same thing i it's the same thing every time it's like i knew it wasn't good i was bored and i wanted that i wanted to trade or i felt like oh i just made so much money let me see if i can make more money on a different trade and those are always the ones that like get me yes every every time though every mm -hmm. single time but i usually mm -hmm. i do journal every single day to see how like how i'm feeling and why i'm winning and what, what's working for me and i think that's and i i could see i could see it in my progress obviously like yes. every day yes. is like pretty good pretty good days I don't mm -hmm. expect every day to be like this. They could be. I'm also more confident taking larger sizes too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like before I'd be like one call, two calls. And I'm like, oh, I could take 10 calls. I could take 20 calls. I could take 30. I'm okay with that now. Now I'm like, I got this. Yes. When you're in an upward spiral, you know, everything just goes well. And this is this is um, another thing that actually happened in my life as well back in the day. Um, one thing 
went well. That led me to the mindset shift. The second thing going well. The third thing going well. And then just upward spiral continued and I went to the top. And, you know, people have a very hard time um, understanding this sometimes. 2018, I was homeless. Really? New country. Yeah, new country. Yeah. 2018. Um, I was 18, all by myself. Uh, didn't speak no English in a brand new country. Um, and um, 2020, I actually tweeted. And this is this fun, right? I tweeted. And this is, I'll, I'll bring back this conversation why, why I'm telling you this. In 2020, I posted this on my Twitter um, that I got big, um, give me a few years, I got big plans. And this was leap day of 2020. 20, um, it was Feb 29th. And just a couple of days ago, it was Feb 29th, um, 2024. Mm -hmm. And I was laughing with my brother. I was like, right, do you remember when we were walking down the street and I told you I got big plans and I pulled my phone out and tweeted? He's like, yeah. Like, you see, we were like broke, broke then and now where we are. Like, yeah. So what only thing that changed was one win. You only need to win once in the stock market. You only need to win once in life. And you use the momentum from that. You use that money from that win as a cushion to grow other stuff. As right. Rochelle said, if she's up $8,000 and now she lost 2000 she's still up 6000 That's called cushioning. You lose a little bit of profits, but because... If she would have made money from that 2000 risk, it would be another 6000 another 8000 And see, right. it's you only need to win once. And once you win, upward spiral continues. And that happened to me in my gym. I went to the gym, started running, um, was doing, you know, smoking some, you know, whatever I need. Like, yeah, I wouldn't even say about it. Um, but I left quit all those stuff. It just put me in a different mindset. I'm like, man, I'm the guy who's going to get shit done. And I did. It was only about the first win, the first little wins. And it only starts from literally. One of my mentors said this. If you want to win, the first win you need to have every single day is the moment you wake up. The first alarm, boom, boom, up. You fix your bed. You make your bed straight away. That's a first win for the day. You do that, you're going to get into habit of, okay, straight away shower. Second win for the day, done. Third, like if you start the morning as thinking about wins, oh, the first win is done. Second. You, just the momentum going to continue. And that worked so well in my life. So, and that's what happened happening with Rochelle. She was like, oh, one call, this, but she started winning. Upward spiral. Not scared to take 30 calls now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, I d just have one big question for you. What do you do over the weekend? Um, Chill or so you look I'm, at the market? I'm really boring. I No, I don't look at the market at all the weekend, actually. I love it. I, um, I just work out, hang out with my puppies. <laughs> And my husband and I don't like really do much. Sometimes I go to concerts and that's it. And I, love, I don't really I start it. looking at the market. I don't start doing anything until like Sunday night. I start maybe paying attention to it, but not really like, well, that's what I told you. Remember I told you that's why I had to get rid of all my stuff on Friday because I want to enjoy my weekend. I want to yes. enjoy time off. I want to, I don't, I want to, I want to have this and like have a nice life and not stress so much about mm -hmm. things that I don't even stress about. Like before I would stress over the weekend because I'd be like so down or whatever. But now I'm like, I don't have to because nothing's there. I can start Monday, like perfect. Yes. I'm not starting. Exactly. I don't want to start Monday in the red. Monday, yes. can't start Monday that's in so, the red. Yes, that's so, so true. It's so a true. terrible feeling. It ruins the whole weekend. Yes. <laughs> and again, um, this is another thing, okay, Rochelle, if you want to swing trade, even during the week, I definitely recommend have two different accounts. One swing okay. trade account, one day trade account. Because okay. if what will happen is, let's say your swing trade and you in a swing trade you open on monday for tuesday and tuesday it's opening red okay they're gonna wreck your mindset for because it's not fun to go like from zero to four thousand dollars it's way easier than minus four thousand to zero even though it's same yep. money yep. so have separate accounts okay. and that will not affect your performance with your day trades and ah. you know and it's easier easier to track as well smart okay yes um okay now what do you like do you know your a plus setups this is my a plus setup i got a size 30 contracts in this this is my not a plus setup so i got a size down or is it like same size in pretty much everything um so i'm still still working on that that's not something i've like really mastered yet i'm like i'm trying to i'm trying to like i mean i you started know started trading five weeks ago you you did <laughs> all right <laughs> I think I think my I think because I'm like I told you I am confident in it and I know I can take more but I'm like I still I'm still pretty safe you know what I mean like I'm, I'm still pretty safe I'm pretty safe with it I'm like okay like I just like I'm like even like that like that met, let's just use that meta once for an example I, I should I mean I after that I did journal that I was like man I should have taken more calls and I right. did it and I'm like why didn't I take more calls 
probably because I'm still playing it pretty safe because I'm still like, you know, I'm still getting like my feet wet to be like, okay, mm-hmm. I can, I can really do it, you know? And you're getting your feet when you fucking make 27 grand. Hey, imagine yeah. when you fully and jump I'm not, into the and fucking I, And I don't, <laughs> I really don't like to take um like trades that aren't that, that aren't that good anymore. Like I just don't, I'd rather just not trade at all for the day, to be honest with you. Yeah. Is this Cause is, I noticed this mental that, capital, you know? Yeah, I do notice that I'm like, you know, as I've been trading week by week by week, there's always like a few days during the week where you're getting like really amazing runners, no matter like, mm-hmm. really, it could be Meta, it could be Microsoft, it could be NVIDIA, it could be, there's always one of that and that's going to be like, give you a kick ass fucking day, a mm-hmm. couple of days out of the week. So I'm like, well, why not just wait for play those? those? Yes, exactly. Like there's another you know? thing, right? On a bad trading day, people will keep trading whole day, but on a good trading day, they just walk away early in the day and saying oh you know i'm like bro right. what the fuck are you doing <laughs> like you're doing the other way around <laughs> exactly exactly yeah, right like, exactly like oh i don't want to give back and please hey fam if you wa- if you're listening to me right now if you're watching this right now please if you want to quit your job and you cannot freaking take 10% trade every like normally 10% trade you gotta let your runners run 10% trade on a one contract of a $200 position size that's 20 bucks do you reckon you're gonna quit your job and make it $20 a day no so if shit's working you let the you know let the trade run please very important very important very important those gives you those give you a lot of confidence it's free money why wouldn't you take it and, and a good example is I don't exactly I think it was my brother who I told this if there's $100,000 sitting on a park bench so you walk to the park and there's hundred thousand dollars sitting there. So you look around. There's nobody. There's nobody. So you take hundred dollars out, and you run. This is what you're doing. There's whole hundred. You can take whole hundred thousand. But you take hundred. Like why? Like it's sitting there for you. It has your name written on it. Everything's good. And you're like, oh, not only hundred. Bro, just you know, there's times to be greedy. There's times to be fearful. Right. Makes sense. Hundred percent. You have great. You have great analogies. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, now I just like this. I told you I gotta have I have this question later on and as well. How much money have you taken out of your trading account so far today? Yes, I took out thirty k on Friday. Okay, now um, I still have, have some a, of it. In there. Do you have a system behind it? Like every week you gotta take this much out? Or no, because I have any. I have this is the I haven't taken like this just all started for me and I'm like I gotta take my fucking money out. But now I I feel like once a month is good for me. I rather I want to like let the the month run and see how the month does. Mm-hmm. I, I mean I'm not like I'm not gonna blow. I, like I told you I didn't even blow my original investment because I'm like yes. uh, I'm not blowing the money that I worked for. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like I yeah. physically had to work for that money. So um, I feel like once a month is good for me. Yes. Yeah. It's I don't, very important. I don't. Important. I don't need it either. Let me say that everyone needs money. I, I, I'm not relying on this money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This for me is like being able to you know possibly like. Buy my, help my son buy his first house and, and set up my daughter in New York or be able to take care of my my dad. Like this is money. This is that kind of money for me. This isn't, mm-hmm. oh, Rochelle needs things kind of money because I make my own money. I, I'm fine. Like I, I I do well. And my husband does well too. So we're okay with that. This is like that money that can make you, that can change other people's lives and like give me like that time that I want to spend with my kids and stuff like that, you know? I love it. I love yeah. it. Bigger motivation to make money. Yeah. So I'm okay. I don't, I'm not like someone like, oh, I have to take it out. I'm not, I'm not going to go buy a $50,000 watch or a $200,000 car or anything like that. Cause I could give, I don't, I don't personally, I don't care about those things. They don't matter to me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. That makes so much sense. Bigger motivations. If you have bigger motivations to trade, you, you like, it's so much better. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure you, you, you know, before you started KC, you, you been through a slump where you lost a lot of money. You made the money first, as you said, you know, you got lucky and, and then you lost the money back. So you were kind of going through the slump, right? Mm-hmm. So you were kind of going through that little phase where you're like, oh my God, you know, sh- what the fuck? And then you joined Kick Apple University. Mm-hmm. So, and you watched, you just watched us for three weeks. You will watch mm-hmm. my screen every day for three weeks mm-hmm. in a row, not taking no trades. Do you think that just sitting there and watching, that helps your confidence, that helps you bounce back and forget about the losses? And you're like, you know what? It's a fresh start. I love this. You know, I love his trading style. I'm learning from the university, the modules. Um, it's all right. It makes so much sense now. Yeah, it did. And also, what I noticed too is how 
know how much time you guys take to even jump in a trade. And, and that was like, that for me was like, oh, okay. I, you know, it, it, it like calmed me down. Or even if you guys had losses, like, okay, I'm jumping out, I lost. Or okay, I'm jumping out, I lost. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm get, I, oh, okay, I get it. And it, it helped me to watch you and like listen to what everyone's saying and you and your brother. And, and you know, it wasn't like every single day it was like, oh, I made a hundred grand today. It really like, uh, it, it eased me a lot. It mm-hmm. did. And and as I was watching, just things started clicking because I'm watching them. Remember, what I do is I actually watch your modules first still mm-hmm. every morning. Then I, I, I trade. So I'm like, I'm, and then then things started clicking. And I was like, oh, this is what he means with this. And then this is what he means with this. And this is how he's drawing the charts. And then and then it all started to like come together. I love it. I, th- I honestly cool. suggest for everyone to actually do that to not even start trading mm-hmm. and to like like sit and just watch and don't even trade yeah because you'll 100%. make way more money and you'll start off like so much better with so much more knowledge and you're you know you'll 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 have the system in place better than just like imagine like watching module one and i'm just jumping in a trade <laughs> what the fuck do i know do you know right. it, it, does, it doesn't make sense like they you should sit there and just watch 100%. and learn and 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 hear what you have to say because you you tell stories you talk about trading like you t- you guys you have a lot of information coming out you're not just trading you're talking about a lot of other things so it, it's very very helpful every single person who joins should absolutely do that yes I, mean, I was i would say that because it's made a huge difference for me i love it. yeah okay now i have one um probably second last question okay okay so let's say, for example, we'll take this coffee cup, right? This this is a trader, right? It's sitting there watching everything from the sidelines, watching, you know, he's like, I still kind of is not sure if KK Apple University is the way to go for him. He's like, I don't know, man. And hey, by the way, guys, I didn't pay Rochelle to say any of what you're going to say, okay? <laughs> Um, <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> she's, she's, she's rich rich she don't need more money but if somebody's sitting on the sidelines right and it's like i don't know if this is for me um you know i have done a couple of courses before i don't know if this is for me maybe it's going to be just like every other thing what advice do you have for that particular trader who's sitting there like ah oh, i don't know you know what i did this is actually funny you're saying this because this is this. So just so you know, I've referred two people this week to your to your K Capital. I just want you to know two of my clients, two of them. Oh, so no. it ha- this happened twice this week and they both started day trading or one was day trading and just doesn't know anything. She's like, I don't know how to trade. It's just too confusing for me. The other one is, is wanting to start. So she hasn't, she has no bad habits yet. And the first girl that I talked to, I said, I told her that I, took this course and I and I said just all I do is I pull out my phone and I say look what I made I just pull my phone out I swear to god and I said and I was like and I'm and it's not because I'm doing anything like I'm not reckless or anything that I'm like I'm literally following the system I'm like this and I and I I do tell them I'm like he makes a dummy proof like he talks to you kind of like you're dumb and it works like it helps you know what I mean I, I know it sounds really mean but like you um you have a way of talking that you're not using like I would say trading jargon where you know you're talking all this lingo and you're confusing people and being and I think that's so helpful because that makes people um like resistant to doing anything just because you use really big words and stuff like that doesn't mean you know any better than anybody else you know what I'm trying to say there's like a language that people have when they're talking Mm -hmm. about certain things Mm -hmm. so I usually use it show them my phone but the woman today she said the same thing to me and she was looking into different courses and then I was telling her about your course and I said this I said I've only been trading real real trading I would say what five weeks not even and I did the same thing I pulled out my phone I just said look what I made and I actually pulled out the trade that I did today I go look look at this trade that I just did and then she was like oh my god and I was like I'm telling you that it, it works it just works but that's it that's all I thought was it works I'm I'm like I'm living proof I'm doing it I'm not I'm not lying I'm not selling anything I'm literally showing you my my freaking account I make hey I love it so, hey, if you're sitting on the sidelines, you want to move forward, choices are new. All right. I'm not here to sell you shit. Choices are new. If you do it, your life be better. If you don't do it, our life still be better. Just think that. Okay. My life not going to change. But, okay. The last question. Yes. Whereabouts your business? And if people want to reach you, they want, do they have to book an appointment? What do you do? Just so we shout you out. And let's oh. say if this video goes 100K views, right? So, oh. 
you know. It's super easy. You can just go to the Glotique. Um, you can go to our website or you can go to Instagram and you can just click book now. Super easy. Okay, or put, they can call us. Yes, I'll put Glotique. those in the show notes below. If you're from Miami, shout out to Miami. Hey, hey it. go down. I'm really book. trying to quit though. So I don't know if you want to shout out my business because this is why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll still put the links in the show notes. Yes, go check it you. out. Hey, you make, you know, go make some fucking money from trading and get into the luxury life that you always want to live. Go take your mama there. Why not? Right. So, yeah. and I'll put those links in the description. Yes, definitely. I really um, appreciate I just want to say thank you so much. Seriously. When I, I wrote you a message the other day and I told you that, that says your talents are a gift from God and what you do with them is your gift back to them. And yes. like, I really think that's why you're so blessed because you give back to people and like being able to teach the way you teach is, um, is really hard. Teaching is really hard. And for people mm -hmm. to like really grasp what you're saying, like it's a, it's a gift that you have. So not only are you gifted that you can make money and take care of your family, but being able to teach people how to make money and better their lives is such an amazing thing to do. Like, I have to tell you, like, it's, it's, it's really incredible because not many people know how to do that and I do it and it. execute well. No, I appreciate that. I yeah. appreciate that a lot. It means a lot. Your well, mom and dad should be proud. Hey, they are. They're sitting over there. You see, I don't know if you see the <laughs> photo, but they're sitting there. That's a photo of them. I um, always have a photo of them in my office. Uh, That's but, great. Yeah. I appreciate you. I um, appreciate you. Thank you, Rochelle. Yeah. Now, I'm looking forward to have you on our seven-figure fucking webinar. The Bro. moment you get to seven figures. I can't yo. wait. Yo. I'm hey, having a party. Way. I'm flying out there. <laughs> By the way, I'm I might be coming to Miami even before that, so um, I mean, I'll I'll bring my wife, you know, we'll you know we'll do absolutely. Some cool um, but thank you for hopping on. I'm thank really you. looking forward to have another call with you. You know, when you hit seven figures, I appreciate it. it. Um, you know, means it. Let's fucking go. Let's go. All right.